What's going on YouTube? Sub I'm saying bringing you another review this week. This week we're going to take a look at the Tugboat version 3 by Flawless. Now this is a two post hex ohm screw build deck RDA adjustable 510 top and side airflow. So, but you're going to need your vape budget hands. It's going to cost you about $89.99. So, eh. So it's going to kind of dig into that pocket a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just, ugh. Ugh. Anyways, guys. Gave you guys a call out or a call to action. Whatever you guys want to call it. Last week, asking you what I could do to make this channel better. So, I did get your feedback. I am listening. I do know that I need to do more giveaways. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway on the 800 subscriber mark because that is a big feat for me. And I just don't know what I'm going to give out. I just really don't. I got a lot of vape products here that I don't use. Maybe I can give all that stuff out. Or I can buy you guys. Maybe maybe I can get like a couple winners and maybe like a $100 budget. And they can pick out whatever they want. I mean, whatever. It don't matter. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a giveaway like that. Spice it up a little bit. Make it a little different. Help you guys out. So, I am listening. Did order some swag sauce. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I did pick up a uh, sugar skull. So, definitely good juice. Definitely good juice. So, I will be doing a review of swag sauce. Right now, I have three flavors. I'm going to order a little bit more this week and hopefully get it in and do a little bit of a review on that. But until then, guys, let's get down to the nitty and the gritty of the Tugboat version 3 by Flawless. Alright guys, here we are up close with the Tugboat version 3's build deck. As you can see, two post design, hex screws, peak insulator is on the base. Pop this off. As you can see, held on by a single o-ring. Now this o-ring is pretty snug. Definitely snug. Even when it's juiced up, it's a little snug for me. Adjustable 510. Threads are pretty decent. They're, well, not decent. Well, they are good. They are good. Haven't had any problems with them screwing on to any of my atomizer or devices. These little slots right here are for your airflow. As you guys can see, here is your chimney. Tugboat flawless design. There's your airflow slot. American flag and another airflow slot. Turn it this way. There is your top airflow. As you guys can see, two little holes, two little holes. Now, with this, that is where your top airflow comes in. So, when you have this together, pretty much you line these holes up right here and it is wide open. Close this off about halfway. I go halfway through this little slot and that is one hole open on each side. So, unfortunately there is no way to single coil it. So, sorry guys. And does have a nice little friction fit drip tip right here. Not too bad. Pretty standard bore. Let me get my camera to focus here. There we go. Pretty decent. Not bad. Not bad. Comparison. Ah, oh, man. Let's see, comparison here. This is my dot mod drip tip, favorite drip tip, by the way. Pretty nice bore, not too bad. A little longer than the Petri dot mod drip tip. So, put that together. And that about covers it, guys. As you guys can see, little slot right there is what opens your airflow. You guys can screw this on here. As you rotate it, that will adjust your airflow. Halfway. Same on both sides. Close it off to where it's just a little smidget. It's going to be a little smidget on the other side. Then you can, in order to close your whole top flow off, just, I don't know, I just do it on the other side. Makes it pretty simple. 
But other than that, guys, that is the Tugboat version 3 by Flawless. Let's get back to FaceTime, vape on it, talk about it, and I'll tell you guys my pros and my cons. That was the nitty and the gritty of the Tugboat version 3 RDA by Flawless. So, overall, I like it better than the previous Tugboats. It's an eyes restricted, it's got more airflow options, easier to build on with the two post design. My cons are the price point, $89.99 is a little bit overpriced for me for an RDA. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that, but $89.99 is a little bit overpriced for me. I mean, I'm sorry. That's just, I don't like dropping 90 bucks on an RDA, especially if I know I'm going to buy another one next week. So, unless you're just going to stick with this one. If you're going to stick with this one, then stick with this one. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Now, this one is more of a flavor chaser than a cloud chaser. You're not going to go wreck people at comp comps with this RDA this one's for you to taste your juice so keep that in mind it is a flavor chaser I do like that it has an adjustable 510 so you know everybody can use it on that noisy cricket I keep seeing everywhere love my noisy cricket by the way I just don't get to use it as much as I like to I just don't know because when I'm at work and I put it in a shelf I'm scared it's gonna press the fire button maybe I'll just I'll figure something out I don't know anyways guys Another con that I have about this device is the packaging. The packaging of this device was horrible. Come on, flawless. Y'all gotta do better than that for 90 bucks. Came in a little Ziploc baggie, and I think I only had like one hex screw and one O-ring in it. Really? Really? 90 bucks? Come on, guys. Give me at least a cardboard box. I mean, that's all I'm asking for is a cardboard box. Show me that you love me a little bit. Show me that you care. You know, it hurts my feelings knowing that my product was shipped in a Ziploc bag. So, that is a big con to me. Packaging is key to me because, you know, you don't want your devices getting scratched up. You don't want it scratched up before you get it. I want, if I get scratches, I want it to be my scratches. It's got to be mine. My authentic scratches. Yeah, I'm going to get a drink now. That got me all worked up. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I will be putting a link in the description where you can get the Tugboat version 3. I think they have multiple finishes now. So when I got it, it only had stainless steel. Anyways, guys. Check out my E-Fusion. I got my E-Fusion just today. I'm pretty excited about it. Took me forever to find a green one, man. It was like trying to find that needle in the haystack. But overall, so far, I like it. Um, let me know. I'm, I might review this. I might review it. I think I got it a little bit more for myself. But I will review it if you guys want me to review it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for commenting back. Thank you so much for liking my videos thank you for so much for being subscribed to me it really means a lot to me trust me i will be doing more giveaways just please stay tuned and bear with me i promise i'll get down to it also this is my last week of overtime guys yeah so hopefully i'll get back on track and we'll be very back to normal schedule and hopefully i'll be able to get more videos out for you guys but until then guys i will see you more for the next nitty and the gritty Thank you guys for watching and please follow up with Kasa and the Vaping Militia and support your right to vape. I cannot stress how important that is to you, to all vapers, especially if you love products, you love vaping and you don't want to go back to smoking guys. We really got to come together as a community and we got to fight this together. So without anything else being said guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for the next nitty and the gritty.